Is your client a victim or a co-conspirator? Wow, that's a good one right out of the box. Um, let me let me say that I've had this case now for all of five days. I haven't seen any discovery at all. And um, if you're asking me to formulate for you a defense strategy, um, I guess my position would be she's a victim. Why would you say that? Why? Well, I suppose because that's, um, uh, you're asking me the question five days into the case without having seen any evidence whatsoever. Um, but there's, there are some things that make me curious and uh, starting with the way they met, how they got married, when they got married, where they got married. Um, the fact that uh, when he walked into the parole office, she went placidly along and uh, later on I'm told uh, that when the officers asked if they could search her home, she said whatever Philip wants. If Philip says it's okay, it's okay. You know, the, the, uh, and, and the fact that Philip's brother apparently has described her as a robot who, was willing, who would do whatever she was asked to do, or whatever she was told to do. You know, and then for the last, I think, 10 or 11 years, I don't even think she was out, she certainly wasn't employed outside the home. She was in the home taking care of his mother. There was a time, it does appear, that she was alone with J.C. Uh, just two years after okay. the abduction when her husband was sent back to jail for five months because of a parole violation. Okay. So for five months, she's alone with J.C. J.C. would be about 13 years old at the time. So it, it seems like she was more than just a, a passive participant. Well, then, in order, to, in order to jump to that conclusion, and, you know, we're, we're speculating about some things, but in order to jump to that conclusion, don't you have to um, assign her a healthy, rational ego and psyche as opposed to someone who is being controlled. Was she remorseful? Uh, was she angry? What, what, what was she like when you she talked was, to her? Oh, she wasn't. She was distraught. She was frightened. Um, she seemed a little lost. Um, all of those things. She, uh, she seemed to be uh, like a ship without a rudder, didn't know exactly where she was going, but uh, she understood why she was there. Um, she understood what was happening to her, I think. And, uh, and I have to take the time to be able to establish the kind of communication that will let me un try to unravel 18 years. Thank you very much.